Birds love to bathe. And bird watchers describe building a bird bath as one of the greatest kindnesses that can be bestowed upon our flighty friends. These oases are used primarily for drinking, hygiene and recreation. Experts suggest that the basin should be filled to a shallow level, since most birds are fonder of playing around the edges than being completely submerged. Also, a steady drip or splashing of water is observed to be particularly inviting to birds. By adhering to these basic guidelines, one could construct a bird bath that will attract a rich diversity of species. What kind of place? Mm. Italian, and it wasn't that good. Now, what'd you have to eat? Um, mine was actually good. It was tilapia. Uh -huh. Kenny had risotto. Uh -huh. He actually ate, like he didn't ask for yogurt or corn? No. He, we got some appetizers. <laughs> and then I had tilapia, he had risotto, and Rob had, I forget what. <laughs> but, um, she, he turns around. So. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. He's loving this right now. So this is the best. So the he takes two bites of the risotto and turns around and he's like, this is the worst risotto I've ever had. And he's like, it's disgusting. The chef comes out and he's going like table to table. He, he tells, told him. He tells the chef that it is the worst risotto he ever had. That's terrible. Who said that? Kenny. Kenny. Oh, my oh, God. The and the chef had a hearing aid. <laughs> where, where, wait, where was this? And the Italian restaurant in Clifton. Oh my so he god. Had to, he had to repeat it again. He's like, this is the worst risotto I have ever had. <laughs> and I will say, it was it was pretty bad. I was saying it was like rice Really?